again, my name is Gabe Zona. This is the 30th of January 2019. Article by CNN, written by Faith Karimi, K A R I M I, and Steve Emsey, A L M S A Y, both of CNN. Coldest air in a generation hits the Midwest. Officials warn of almost instant frostbite. Hmm. You'll see an embedded video there. Even for the hardiest, cold-tested Americans, the deep freeze sweeping over the Midwest will be brutal. Officials warned of almost instant frostbite as temperatures in the region plunged below zero Wednesday. Some state officials are closed and postal workers won't deliver mail in 10 states. Thousands of flights have been canceled along with dozens of train services, most of them in and out of Chicago. As of Wednesday morning, roughly 224 million people, that's more than 7 in 10 Americans, were experiencing below freezing conditions, and more than a fifth of the country was enduring below zero temperatures. It's only getting chillier. Meteorologists predict at least 40 records lows will be set in the Midwest and Northeast after sundown Wednesday, including in New York and Washington, which are expecting single-digit temperatures. With at least five deaths linked to the extreme conditions this week, authorities are urging people to bundle up, stay inside, and check up on the elderly and vulnerable in what experts are describing as the coldest air in a generation. Chicago will be below zero for days. You know what's good about that. I'm sure the killings will be down. While most of the Midwest will see frigid temperatures, Chicago will be the epicenter of the extreme cold, CNN meteorologist Dave Hennon said. Chicago could reach a record low temperature of 27 below zero by Thursday morning. Its daytime high Wednesday is forecast at 15 below zero. Officials there are setting railroad tracks on fire because the extreme cold can cause defects. Chicago officially fell below zero prior to 6 p.m. Tuesday at O'Hare, and it may not get back to zero until Thursday evening, National Weather Service in Chicago tweeted Tuesday night. It is so cold, Chicago area residents would be better off warming up in parts of the Antarctica. The high temperature on Wednesday in Prisley Glacier, Antarctica, will be 6 degrees Fahrenheit and a low of 7 below zero. Wednesday night could bring record temperatures in the city and region. Forecasters predict a low of negative 27. The lowest temperature on records in Chicago and 35 to 40 below zero in northern Illinois with a record is negative 36 set in 1999. That's four degrees below the record. More than 3,300 flights involving U.S. airports were canceled Tuesday and Wednesday, including more than 2,000 in and out of Chicago airports, according to FlightAware.com. Amtrak also canceled all service to and from Chicago on Wednesday due to weather, including short-distance trains and long-distance overnight trains. It said it typically operates 55 trains daily to and from the Chicago hub. Mail delivery? will also be canceled in Michigan, Indiana, North Dakota, South Dakota, and parts of Illinois, Ohio, Minnesota, Wisconsin, Iowa, and Nebraska. You see a photograph where they're setting the tracks, the rails, on fire. In Minnesota, frostbite can hit in minutes. Frigid temperatures are not only a concern in Minnesota. Blustery weather brought rare wind chills in negative 60 in Ponsworth, the wind chill was negative 66. CNN meteorologist Michael Guy said, These are very dangerous conditions and can lead to frostbite on exposed skin in as little as five minutes, where wind chill values are below 50. The National Weather Service tweeted, Best thing you can do is limit your time outside. Heenan described it as the coldest air in a generation. Temperatures were plunged. 20 to 40 degrees below zero between Tuesday and Thursday in the upper Midwest, Heenan said. In northern Minnesota, wind chills were forecast to drop 65 to 70 degrees below zero, which would rival the coldest wind chill ever recorded in the state in 1982. Are you sort of getting the picture? 
Read up on North Dakota. Read up on Michigan. Read up on New York. Deaths linked to brutal weather. Folks, you can't make this stuff up. If you can, stay inside, stay warm, and stay safe. The link will be attached. Thanks for listening.